for best experimental, we have I'm not Oscar Hudson either. We're here, uh, I'm Luke. I'm Callum. Um, Oscar couldn't be here tonight, um, so big up him for making a video with Woo! us. Yeah, big up Oscar. We got a whole load of the crew back there, another three people who work with us. Um, it was a massive team effort, so thank you to everyone who worked on this video. All our videos are great as well. Thanks, Mike. And this is a horror video. Yeah, 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 because Spike on the Horrors video, he's with us, and it's brilliant. Thank you. So, this is Bastion Lee Jones. Good afternoon, everybody. This is the third day of the Berlin Music Video Awards 2019. And here I have, again, one of the winners. Of which category? Best Experimental Video. Wow, experimental videos. It sounds like creativity in the core, isn't it? Yeah, it was a really amazing category. There were some really, really, really good videos. Um, just, yeah, blew my mind several times over. It was great. And so who are you and what was your job in that project? So my name's Luke Moran Morris. I was the art director on uh, Lorcana Ottolenghi. Uh, and that, yeah, so that was me. That's my role. And uh, I designed the video, came up with the Dream Train set build and uh, all of the mad oversized props and also the kind of cards that we pulled apart. Um, we had to make a kind of rig out of uh, wood for these cards that, so they'd slot into place and stay there and that you wouldn't realize that they were actually cards until someone came in and pulled them apart. There was many different elements and each different element required another creative person. So we had a big team, man. Like like 15 people or so. You know, one guy was just doing the backdrops. I don't know if you realize, but out the train windows, all those backdrops were really moving. There was like poles being pulled across. This whole hillscape was being pulled along and we had drills with bushes on them spinning around, making the movement to make it look as though the train was moving. So that was one whole team doing that. Another team was just into printing the photographs, mounting them on the frames. Um, we had a printer then and there in the studio that would kind of take a snapshot from the camera as we were shooting, then we'd get it printed, mount it, and then immediately be ready for the next shot. So technically it was, it was a bit mad, a bit crazy, but yeah, Oscar Hudson, the director, came up with all of this um, madness. So we just came along for the ride and made it happen. Yeah. And um, the idea itself, I mean, or the ideas in general for you, I mean, where are your inspiration come from? Is it nature? Is it arts? Is it different fields? Sports, maybe even? Well, with this video, when I collaborate with Oscar and uh, the DOP, Ruben uh, Wooden Deschamps, who's an amazing DOP, always up for pushing the boat out, trying new things, different cameras that have never been used before. Um, he's brilliant, he's really experimental. Uh, so like when we get together, it's just sort of playing on surreal, surrealism and dreams and, and, and also just trying to do effects that maybe you could do digitally, doing everything in camera, in person, by hand, for real, which gives it a different texture and a different quality and gives lots of technical challenges to the production of it, yeah. Um, so I think one of the big things is seeking challenges i mean the idea was first and then you were thinking okay how to realize it and then there might be some challenges or problems from the sounds a bit negative no yeah yeah problem like massive cha <laughs> <laughs> massive challenges yeah. like we had to the way we structured making the video had to change massively you know like we had a studio for an entire week set up so that we could have the train in position get the camera position just right, get the framework where we would slot the pieces of paper in just right, light everything, test the backdrops. So, you know, we kind of, there was a lot of preparation that went into it. Um, we had to be very prepared. And then, just when we were super prepared and everything was ready to go, on the day that we're gonna shoot it, 
power cut in the studio and everything goes down, we lose like over half a day of our shoot, um, which was completely mad and everyone was really scared we weren't going to get it. And we did a bigger whip around and everyone said, is it, will we be able to come back tomorrow and do it? And everyone, because they were so invested in the video, really wanted to make it happen. They came back, we shot the next morning as well. And it was just the good nature of people to come back and do that. And we, we got the rain shot there. That's when we did that. Because uh, once the rain shot was done, we weren't going back into that train. It was, yeah, it was a flood. So, uh, yeah. I was wondering, I mean, there had been the umbrellas and it looked really real. Um, and there had been some rain drops in the front and they were looking animated somehow. And I thought, how did they do this? Huh? So we really rigged up pipes above above the set the o the top of the set was open yeah. so the set was built exactly to the camera position because the camera position doesn't move yeah. so anything that wasn't seen by the camera wasn't built so the backs of all the chairs yeah. the bit of floor you didn't see the roof you didn't see all of those elements just didn't exist and uh, above that roof we had hose pipes and the rain came down through those yeah. um, Yeah, which is pretty mad. And then we had to like create a channel into a drain and we were like sweeping all the, 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 the water down, down that way to get it away from the camera equipment. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Wow. pretty fun, yeah. Wow, so uh, being really creative is taking risks. It's like trial and error, but you know, you planned it very, very well. So you minimize the risk of, yeah, of failure, isn't it? Yeah, you're completely right. We minimize the risk of failure on all of the aspects that we could have perceived. Yeah. Um, so... Everything that we were unsure about, we gave ourselves time to experiment with and make sure it worked before it came to the day of shooting. But we couldn't have predicted the power cut. But, you know, that was just sheer willpower that, that made it happen in the end after that one, yeah. Wonderful, and it only works when you have a great team where everybody is pulling the right string at the right time, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. Like, you know, this, you know, this video was... You know, it was it was it was Oscar, the director. It was Loyal Kana, the the um, the artist who had a lot of input. Um, it was also all the actors that were in there on the train. It was the entire camera team, the lighting team, costume, art department, construction. You know, everything, all of it. And then you know, and then we went outside the train and we shot some lo-fi footage on a real train with all of um, Ben Loyal Kana's family hanging out on a train and then we dragged part of the set into a field and we filmed that as well so you know it, it, it kind of went on and on but it was a massive team effort um, yeah when you have an idea like that you can't just pull it off by yourself I think yeah. and is it your first time in Berlin no and how do you how have you heard about this uh, festival well um, I was actually here three years ago we had another video in another category three years ago a lot of the same guys that are here that worked on the Loyal Kana video we were all here three years ago so it's really nice to come back and to win <laughs> um, so yeah that's how we're here we came here three years ago we came back and yeah really 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 chuffed to get recognition because it really was a great category I thought there was some really, really, really interesting videos. I absolutely loved the video with the guy jumping off a cliff and floating down. I was on the edge of my seat the entire time. I was completely transfixed by, by that video. Brilliant. Um, so many others that I can't think of right now that were amazing. The jello legs one with, the, with, with the, the arms and legs stretching out. I mean, it's great. There's so much you can do, right? There's so much you can do with videos. And that's one of the best things about music videos, I think, is that it is a platform for experimentation and for directors to try things out, directors and all creatives to try things out, and then they'll move forward and maybe some of them will do commercials, maybe some of them will do feature films, maybe some of them will work in all sorts of different things, but it's a platform for creativity and experimentation. Yeah. I mean, it's like, you know, in a song you have a song and the song is a condensed opera. An opera takes maybe two, seven hours if you take Wagner. And it's maybe the same, you know, the same balance between, or the, you can compare it with a movie of 90 minutes and the condensation of it is maybe a mu music video or... Uh, yeah, but I think it's very rare that feature films that are as experimental as those yeah. videos get made, right? Because, you know, a lot of people... Maybe they, they, they do this experimentation, but they run out of energy with it, you know? And to be able to make a 
feature film that has that level of experimentation running through it is amazing. I, I, uh, one of my favorite feature films is uh, Under the Skin, and that has an incredible amount of experimentation just in terms of how, what is a film, how can you shoot a film, how guerrilla can you be for it to be a high-end you know, feature film, and, uh, and using symbolism and imagery that you would normally only find in a music video. Yeah, Jonathan Glazer, brilliant director. Yeah. Wow, thanks a lot. Enjoy this festival. Congratulations to the whole team. Yeah. Your enthusiasm is really contagious. Brilliant. I love it. Thanks, Thanks Luke. So much. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Bye -bye. <laughs>